In this video, I want to highlight a browser known as the Min browser. Now, I'm using Ubuntu 18.04, the long term support, but this will work on a variety of Linux distributions. But I will be showing you how to install it on the Ubuntu and Debian based systems. It is a cross platform browser. Now, since I have a traditional menu, you can go to Applications, go to Internet after you get it installed, and click on the Min icon. And as you can see, it says Min is a fast, minimum browser that protects your privacy. Now, I've already got it up down here, minimized on my taskbar. As you can see, I have four tabs open. And before I start reading a little bit about it, you look, you look, look across the top. It is very minimum. The title bar is gone because that's my taskbar across the top. Uh, here's your tabs. And if you want to click a new tab, you click this here. And then you can put in your URL where you're uh, typing. Or you can use it as the search bar. And the search bar would be like DuckDuckGo. That's the default search. Now since it's a new tab there and there's nothing there, it's a blank page. You hover over the tab. You click the X and it closes out. So let's take a look a little bit at the Min web browser, how to install it, and some of the features. It says Min is a fast, minimum browser that does protect your privacy. It's a great browser for getting away from the most popular bloated browsers. If you're looking for a fast and uncluttered alternate of Chrome and Firefox browsers, then give Min a try. Now, I will let you know up front that it is built using CSS, HTML, and JavaScript using Electron 9. And I have a link there to Electron 9 on what it is. So for those of you that don't like Electron, you may want to pass on this particular browser. And at the very bottom, I put, remember, Min is written and developed from a framework called Electron. Then I took a quote from Wikipedia. Electron is the main GUI framework behind several uh, notable open source projects such as Atom, the GitHub Desktop, Lighttable, Visual Studio Code, and WordPress. And you can click there on Wikipedia to see that. But let's take a look at how to install it, some of the features of it. So that way if you're not looking for a browser full of features, just looking for a minimum browser for those minimalist users, then you might want to give men a try. All right, now here is some of the features. Uh, it says Min is, includes interface designed for minimized distractions and features such as information from DuckDuckGo in your search bar, which you can search up there, full text so that there's not a separate search window in a URL. It, you can search within the URL bar. Full text search would visit the pages. So when you click up there to drop down showing you the pages that you visited, add and tracker blocking. Now that's not the greatest in the world, but you can't install add-ons or extensions. So you have to kind of take what ads that do get past the ad blocker on this particular built-in ad blocker. It has an automatic reader view and I'll show you that in just a moment. You can create tab groups or tasks. It does have a password manager integration and you can choose between a uh, dark theme and light theme. As you can see, it's the dark theme here, or it comes pre-installed with a dark theme. Now you can click this here that will take you to their actual web page. Now that's the start on it, but when you first go to the, and let me click here, as you can see here, it says download men, and I'll go back to here. When you click that button, you got two choices. You, for Debian based or Ubuntu based systems, you can click the download the Deb extension, and that's what I will be using since I'm using Ubuntu Mate. Or if you're on like Fedora or any of the distributions that use the extension RPM, you can download this. Now you can download it for other platforms as well, but I'm just showing you how to install it on Ubuntu and Debian based systems. Now, currently at the time I'm making this video, it's the min 1.6.0, and that's the file that I download into my download folder. Now, the package installer that I'm using is GDebbie. If you need that, if you don't have it installed, you can open your terminal, put sudo apt install GDebbie, and it will install the package installer. Then go to your downloads folder where you downloaded that file, double click it, the package installer will open. Now, if it needs some dependencies, when you click the install package, it will get the dependencies first, and then it will install the program. On my systems, all the dependencies were satisfied. And here you can get a little description of what the Min browser is. Once that you click the install button, it will ask for your password so that it can install on your system. And before you close the package installer, make sure it says same version is already installed and the reinstall and remove package. Now, you don't have to keep this deb file on your system 
you know when I first started using Linux I, I used to think when I installed them here since that was the reinstall or remove package I had to keep it in case I needed to reinstall it or if I needed to remove it but you don't need to you can delete that file if you need to uninstall it you can open the terminal put sudo at remove min and it will take it off your system but if you do like to use just the clicks you can keep it or you can re-download it, click remove package and it will remove it from your system. As you can see here I'm using the traditional menu. I've already showed you through the at the beginning how you go to applications, internet and click on the main browser to open the browser up. When you open it for the first time it will welcome you to men and that is the menu or what you see here. You can click the start browsing to immediately start the browsing or you can say take the tour. So going back to my web page if you click take the tour it will go through and describe some of the highlighted or main features of the men browser it will tell you about the tabs like if you want a new tab you click this button to open up a new tab then you can click the little X hover over a tab click the X to close a tab so it gives you information it teaches you how to use the search so when you click up here like in let me open up a new tab if I wanted to search for let's say Linux distros of 2020 when I hit the enter or return key it's going to use DuckDuckGo as the search engine so in the URL bar you can type as you would in a normal search engine at DuckDuckGo or just like you would at Google but it does use it does use the uh, DuckDuckGo as the default search. So when you hit click the take the tour, as you can see here, here's your tabs, here's your search. As you can see, they search for Niagara Falls. You click the down, or you can scroll. It teaches you how to view your bookmarks. If you need to import your bookmarks, you can click there. Basically, you use your browser that you're currently using as your default, or wherever you want to import the browser. Save it as an HTML file, then you can open the HTML file to import the bookmarks into the main browser the task you can say task lets you split your tabs into groups let you keep the ones that you want to look at visible while hiding the others in the background you can see the task that's running by clicking the hamburger menu in the corner and clicking it again it works like a, a toggle key ads and tracker blocking as you can see here men blocks third-party ads and trackers automatically to block everything including the first party ads or disable content blocking completely go to your edit preferences you can also choose to block images and JavaScript if you're on a limited internet connection so you can actually tweak this for content blocking you go to edit preferences and to access the menu you click the dot 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 in the upper left hand corner a lot of times you're familiar with them being in the right hand corner this is in the left hand corner as you can see there's not a lot of features like you would with most browsers you have a new tab duplicate tab new private tab a new task your bookmarks your history a reading list and I'll show you that in a moment about reading you can save a page, you can print a page, you can quit. Here's the edit, which is your normal normal undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, select all, find preferences. You've got your zoom in, zoom out, actual size, focus mode, full screen, and the view mode. Developer, inspect page, reload the browser, inspect the browser. And for your help, you've got keyboard shortcuts, report a bug, take a tour, view on GitHub, and about men. But since we want to go to the ad blocker, you're going to go to edit and then you're going to choose preferences and if you're used to using shortcuts as you can see the shortcuts are on the right hand side control plus the comma on your keyboard you press and it will open up your preferences here you've got a, not a lot of preferences you got your keyboard shortcuts if you want to set up a, a proxy your passwords autofill is set to none if you want to use the password manager to fill in passwords you can choose that you can change your default search engine so if you don't like DuckDuckGo you can change it to a variety of other search engines but DuckDuckGo is the default search engines the search engine here's some additional features you can enable user scripts you can use a separate title bar you can use new tabs in the foreground you can use the uh, custom set user agent or you can automatically check for updates so since it's set to automatically check for updates when you run the men browser it will look across the internet and let you know if there's a new version available to you here's where I said it has a dark mode you can enable dark mode you can say at night never always enable a site theme and that is the default at night and enable site theme but I am use and that's why this is not dark here so if I can say always it changed everything to a dark mode if I say never it's gonna look like this all the time and then at night time it will know based on your time 
that at nighttime this will go dark so that way it won't hurt your eyes when, right before you go to bed keeping you awake for content blocking as you can see I've not been using it a lot but it has already blocked 336 ads and trackers and by default it's got third block block third party ads and trackers you can also add websites that you want to block ads so if you new notice ads on a certain website you can uh, you can put it here and this will be for allowing websites you can also block all ads and trackers sometimes that may keep a page from loading you can block scripts and you can block images or you can allow all ads and trackers so that is the uh, in the edit preferences and content blocking so let's go back across let me close out the new tab and uh, let me go ahead and close this Here's my download page that gives you additional information. It talks about browse without, browse without distractions, find anything instantly, stay organized, protect your privacy, fast and efficient, open source software, and download the men. As you can see here, if you're using a Linux system, it will give you those two options. So let me go ahead and close this one. Let me close this tab. Now I'm back to my original web page that shows you the tour. Now, as you can see, I'm on my web page, but it's very snappy when you go to a particular web page because it's a minimalist browser. There's not a lot of things and there's not a lot of add-ons to slow your search down. It does play YouTube videos without problems. Now, the ad blocker that I have, you can see certain little ads over the side, it blocks them out, but you can still see a description of it, and sometimes there will be a little ad that plays before the YouTube video. Since you can't install add-ons or third-party extensions, uh, you're not going to be able to block out those. It lets those play. It does play streaming videos from like Pluto, T Pluto TV. I haven't tried other streaming services. Now here's the mode I like. For example, how to turn on your reader mode. Even though this is a minimalist browser, you can remove distractions from the browser by going into the reader mode. Now as you can see here, I'm on the GitHub website, their GitHub website. It has more information but you can go into reader mode by clicking the icon here and it will remove distra distractions now not all websites support the reader mode it will if you got an icon here you it will support it so let me click down here and I'll show you and one more time how to, if I click this link notice that icon here if I want to go in reader mode notice all these things that are on the side here if I click this little icon here it now toggles the browser into reader mode so everything on the sides is now removed and it removes all the distractions where you can focus on the text in the center so that helps you stay focused especially if you're a student and you're learning educational websites and there's ads or other information on the side that's irrelevant to what you're reading if you go into reader mode if the, the web page supports it you can just read what's at hand and stay focused now as you can see here this particular uh, link that I clicked on actually gives you more information about the browser so if you click on the links that I have you can learn more about it you can learn some of the actions that it has and what they do you can learn more about the bookmarks importing bookmarks and it shows you illustrated steps so I didn't take a lot of screen captures from other browsers because I didn't really care to uh, import my bookmarks from other browsers it shows you how you can use your task your password management your focus modes and actually other settings and it talks more about the content blocking and your dark mode along with some keyboard shortcuts now to turn off the read mode click the icon again and it goes back into the normal mode again to close out a tab just click the X and as I've already said this is a development framework by Electron so if you do not like Electron applications then you might want to avoid this but if you're looking for a quick browser that's snappy and that you're not looking for a lot of power features then give men a try now it's not for someone looking for all the features and add-ons that most other browsers has so hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day